Ladies and gentlemen, hobos and tramps, cross-eyed mosquitoes and bow-legged ants, ambition is free. Y'all pay at the door, pull up a chair and sit on the floor. Welcome now, children, grandchildren, great granny. It's time for the world famous Heartland Hoot Nanny. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Crow's Nest here at Heartland Studios on Heart Lane in East Nashville, Tennessee, USA. I'm Cat Secor of Old Crow Medicine Joe, and you're watching a brand new show, which already happens to be the most exciting hour of live stream entertainment you've ever seen from one man, one banjo, and one Victrola under quarantine. Yes, it's been since Harold Lloyd Jenkins' transformation to Conway Twitty that you've seen a program this profoundly wholesome, yet haphazardly slip shot, ended just with a buffalo jump of sincerity. But I welcome each of you to the broadcast. Our special guest on the Heartland Who Dean tonight is a barrel of laughs from Lee Twelve. In orange, North Country Comics, Mary Mack is here. Such a voluminous offering of songs and merriment are pound your way with a vim and vigor of real dream like dependability. Yet yeah, these are harrowing times, so we offer you this hour with an empathetic heart. Well, as there's no time like the present, let's hitch our wagons to a shooting star. Welcome, one and all. It's the Mother's Day edition of the Heartland Woo Nanny. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to this week's live broadcast of the Hoop Nanny, everybody. We're coming to you live from Nashville, Tennessee, in the Volunteer State. We're going to kick things off with a good old hillbilly song. <laughs> Around this world, young and running wild, I play till the fire that burns. Now I live on the highway till I die. I'm a little borrow time, bound for the end of the line. But every life that flickers and shines, we're coming together on the border side. All together we fall, together we ride, together get down together. All together we fall, together every little light gonna flicker and shine. Worded weeks and the bills are piled in the east. I'm waiting on a PPP and I'm wearing that hose on the DVDs. I'm down to the very last grove and the bread lines pass out promissory notes. Everyone's in the same, same boat. We're pulling up river, it's a long way to go. All together we fall together, we ride together, get wild together. All together we fall together, we live in the light, go to flicker and chat. All together we fall together, we band together, we stand together. All together we fall together, live in the light, go to flicker and chat. Yes, it will. Welcome home to the Heartland Studios. It's the Saturday night before Mother's Day, and we want to welcome Mama home. So we put on the crock pot, and the whole place smells like white bean chicken jalapeno chili, y'all. Oh, the old factory hues. It's bubbling in the old crock pot. And we went down to Weiss's Liquor on Gallatin Road, and we picked up some of Mama's favorite wine coolers from Bartles and James, y'all. And we DVR'd the last three weeks of The Young and the Restless to run after the broadcast, and now we're just gonna spend the whole next hour catching up on the couch. Happy Mother's Day, Mama. Let's kick off our celebration with a medley of songs about that gentle lady who we all adore. Move over, Daddy, cause Mama knows best. Hey, motorcycle mama, won't you lay your big spike down? Well, motorcycle mama, won't you lay your big spike down? I always get in trouble when you bring it around. Motorcycle mama, won't you lay it down? And how about up against the wall, redneck mothers? Yeah! Mothers who have raised their son so well. He's 34 and drinking in a honky tonk. Just kicking hippies' asses and raising hell. And there's always, Mama, he's crazy. Crazy over me. And in my life, where he says he always wants to be. I've never been so in love. He beats all I've ever seen. And mama, he's crazy. He's crazy over me. And finally, who could forget mother? Tell your children not to walk my way Tell your children not to hear my words What they mean, what they 
say mother Hallmark have said it any better than Lodi, New Jersey's Glenn Danzig, metal's most beloved mama's boy. Well, truly, truly, these are uncertain times. I certainly doubt anyone had any idea we were ever going to hear an old crow cover of Danzig's mother. But in times like this, here on the Hootenanny, everything is possible. Well, we're celebrating mama tonight. We've purchased and ignited a scented candle. Cookie dough, y'all. The air is filled with the vanilla-y sweetness and sandy sugariness, more commonly associated with Greyhound. Here, take a little tour of the joint. Mama, someday soon things will settle down and you'll be able to take that Greyhound trip to see your sister in Pensacola like you said you were going to do before the Twisters touched down, before the global pandemic struck. But fear not, Mother. Greyhound will wait for you. And if not that, certainly Megabus. Trailways or Peter Pan lines will be at the ready to escort you to the panhandle post-corona. Hey, let's check in on the chili. Oh, I wish you folks at home could smell this white bean chicken jalapeno chili, y'all. It's mama's recipe. God, I just noticed all these pictures of mother here on the wall. Look, it's all the mothers of the old crows. There's... There's Joe's mother from Anniston, Alabama, and there's Jerry Pentecost's mother from right here in Nashville, and Morgan's mom down in Georgia, and there's my mom up in Toledo, and Charlie's mom in Mississippi, and Robert's mom in Georgia, and Corey's mom, the pride of North Little Rock. Oh, it's so wonderful to see all these pictures of mother on the wall. I think there's a song about that. It goes like this. There's an old and faded picture on the wall. night before Mother's Day here live with you on the Heartland Hootenanny. Well, I'm going to take you over here to the Gospel Corner before our illuminated stained glass because it's time we had a just a little talk with Jesus and tell him all about our troubles. Also, we're going to share our thanks and praises with the great spirits on high for all the hardworking men and women who are out there on the front lines of the COVID-19 crisis putting their lives at risk every day so that we can depend on basic services to keep our families safe and healthy during these troubling times. Tonight I'm thinking about some very special and needy folks. Now just yesterday I was driving in the rain past the Tennessee State Capitol where I spied an assemblage of mothers, of daughters, of wives and partners all standing six feet apart with their face masks and their umbrellas in their rain gear holding up their signs that said, please, Mr. Governor, 
please take care of our incarcerated loved ones. Folks, if you didn't know, the truth is, the two of the world's worst coronavirus outbreaks anywhere are here in my state of Tennessee, just a short distance from the Heartland Studios. One at the Trousdale Turner Correctional Center and the other at the Bledsoe County Correctional Complex. To the men condemned to live in these terrible confines, we send heartfelt prayers tonight. And we pray also for their moms and for their daughters and for their wives and for their girlfriends. We pray for any man who's behind bars and missing mom tonight. Maybe it's the color of the sun cut flat and covering the crossroads I'm standing at. Ah, oh, maybe it's the weather or something like that. But mama, you've been on my mind. I don't mean trouble, please don't put me down or get upset, I am not pleading. Oh, Sam, that I can't forget. I do not walk the floor about town and bend forget. Mama, you just on my mind. Even though my mind is hazy and my thoughts, they might be narrow. Where you been, don't bother me, no, bring me down. No sorrow, it don't even matter to me where you're waking up tomorrow. But mama, you just on my mind. Oh, maybe it's the color of the sun, cut flat and covering. The crossroads I'm standing at Oh, maybe it's the weather Or something like that But mama, you're just on my mind Yeah! You know what that sound means? It's time for this most, my most favorite segment here on the Heartland Hootenanny when I get out the technology of days bygone. Oh, time to change the ribbon. Wait for the ding. Ah, yes, it's news on parade time where the Heartland Hootenanny investigates what's going on in the mines and in the hearts of the members of Old Crow Medicine Show, America's Sweethearts. And it's also that time when we open up the Pan American mailbag and read your correspondence. But first, the top news item for Old Crow today is an exciting new music and video featuring all the Old Crows shot appropriately in self-quarantine. Yes, perhaps we had to forego some of those fancy camera angles and, in Bostonian terms, sick cinematography. But no global pandemic can hold back OCMS from bursting forth with vitality and song. So here goes, let's have a look at what zaniness, at what hilarity the old crows have cooked up for this week, huh, huh? Ladies, start your ignition switch. Mothers, you know just what to do. It's that time, oh wait, I got my new remote control. Oh my God, check this out, y'all. It's time, moms, to flip the ignition switch. It, fellas, it's time to shovel on the charcoal. It's the world premiere of the Old Crow Medicine Show's latest Corona rib tickler, a culinary masterpiece that we call Easy Greasy's End Times BBQ. Six feet away, easy, just do 
his thing. He's loading up the smoker with a hickory bird, calling out everybody come to the curb, barbecuing up till the end of the world. Get yourself a plate on down at Easy Greasy's and Top BBQ. Easy Greasy's and the old table do. He's cooking on the corner, have yourself a taste, reeling on up to Judgment Day. Kansas City, Memphis, Arkansas, they got nothing on easy. He's got the Cuban BBQ that stands for quarantine. It's a marinated revelation, bone sucking his sauce in all the nation at Easy Greasy's and Times BBQ. Chicken liver, hush puppies, you pet corn, sweet potatoes in the fryer. Soul food served up for the final hour. Call from the heavenly law standing at the butcher one day. He said, Easy cook it low and slow to them horsemen ride your way. And two loves lean and three loves fat. Oh, one pick off the bone like that. Then the Lord did up his heavenly hat and filled his heavenly plate. He filled it full of easy greases and times a BBQ. Easy greases, come on, any old table would do. He's cooking on the corner, have yourself a taste. Grilling on. Judgment Day down at Easy Breezes and time to BBQ. Easy Breezes, apocalyptic, pit roasted, end of the world as we know it. Bobby Cool. Oh, that's smoking. God, don't that just make your mouth water. Well, mm. wasn't that fun, y'all? We're gonna get that thing out on the uh, on the internet or you know a digital streaming platform real soon, so you can take home a copy of your fabulous version of the Old Crow's newest uh, quarantine record called Easy Greases End Times BBQ. Smoking, y'all. Well, before we end the news on parade segment, let's go ahead and take a peek into the Pan American mailbag here on the Heartland Hoot Nanny. That wonderful time when we read through your cards and letters and hear from some of the folks who love the Hoot Nanny most of all. They're listening in Thurston, Ohio, in Cairo, Michigan, in Ashland City, Tennessee, pride of Cheatham County, y'all. Gatlinburg over on East Tennessee side. Bob and Trina and two year old Connor are watching from St. Louis, home of Ozzie Smith, the wizard and the 11-time World Series champion, St. Louis Cardinals. Also, Massachusetts is listening. Go Sox. Jersey City, Jersey. Weir's Cave, Virginia, down in the valley. John McCabe says, Ahoy, mateys, from Newport, Rhode Island, the ocean state, in case you didn't know. Brooklyn, New York is watching. Mifflin Town, PA, Tucson, Arizona, East Nashville in the house. San Antonio and beautiful Bayer County, the hills outside of Boulder are tuned in. Rob says, yeehaw. I mean, Roy S. says that. Uh, along with some um, unpronounceable hashtags. Kimberly Lord says, hey, catch, come hang out with me. I've been quarantined forever. Gotcha. Gracie Carter says, woohoo, and hello from Golden, Colorado. Oh, I like Coors too. Jay Bailey suggests, mama, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Hey, that's a good request idea. Happy birthday to Michael Wood, who turns 36 on Monday. Jessica Lee says, heart, 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 Hakuna Matata emoji. Jay Bailey says, heart, 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 Hakuna Matata emoji. Wow, it's really going around. And Holly Warner says, cool and rock hands. Yeah. My favorite emoji of the COVID-19 era is Rockhand's face mask. Now, let's head on up here to the mailbag. Take a peek up here. We keep it up here in the birdhouse. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's see who we got. You folks have been sending your cards and letters, and we're so happy that you did. Here's one. This one comes from Gilbert, Arizona. Let's see what they say. Oh, there's a picture, too. Looks like we've got a graduate in the house. Dear Catch, the last semester of senior year has been kind of a bust. We miss going to your concerts and getting out of the house. We're so excited to hear about the Heartland Hoot Nanny, though. It gives us something to look forward to, and my mom and I really enjoy your shows. Well, to the graduate, Annabelle Fulton. Hey, we're thinking about you, Annabelle. Let me focus that thing so we can see your pretty picture. Oh, she's graduating from some high school in Arizona. Hallelujah. 
Here's one that says Heartland Hootenanny. This card came to you all the way from Saigon, Vietnam. Please shout out to all the foreign service officers assisting U.S. citizens abroad from us. Hey, everybody out there in Saigon, we're thinking about you two from here in Nashville on a Saturday night. Here's one that says, uh, this one's from West Virginia. Our friends Jay and Marcy Myers write, my wife Marcy and I are watching the Hootenanny every Saturday night and it gives us something to look forward to in these difficult times. We love the humor, the music, the fantastic production values. Oh, thanks. Pretty good for quarantine. Official OCMS Louisville Slugger, Del McCurry Bobblehead, etc., etc. Your Shakespearean soliloquy was very special this week. We just wish we knew what it meant. Well, West Virginians home cheering on the nitros. You wish in the spring season. I hear you loud and clear. We're glad you're tuned in. Here's one I'm excited to read. This one comes all the way from Duluth, Minnesota, which is right up the road from where our special guests. Now here on the return envelope, it just says Kitty. Let's see what Kitty has written. Oh dear. It says, meow, kitty, meow, kitty, meow, kitty, meow, from Kitty. Hey, thanks, Kitty. So glad you're tuned in. And finally, we're going to read one from Kent from Flowtown, Pennsylvania. Kent writes, Dear Catch, I wanted to send a note to thank you for your music. A few years back in my early 40s, I started running. I like to listen to music while I run, and it wasn't too long before I discovered the great energy in Old Crow albums could really carry me through the tough miles. Now that we are a couple of months into quarantine, I've learned that good music can lift you up during challenges as well. Every week, my wife and I look forward to the Heartland Hootenanny, and it's great to have a laugh together on a Saturday night. Keep up the good work, and I hope we can catch one of your shows during sometime soon. Maybe we can even make it to Nashville someday. Sincerely, Kent Barbe. All right. Thanks, Kent. Well, that's wonderful. And if you want to write the Heartland Hootenanny, it's easy. And with quarantine providing you ample time for such activities as letter writing and stamp ordering and envelope licking and disinfecting after your mail carrier visits your porch, then please mail your letters to the Heartland Hootenanny in care of Old Crow Medicine Show's Heartland Studios, 711 Heart Lane, Nashville, Tennessee, 37216. Don't have time to disinfect on your way to the post office? Stay home, folks, and correspond with the Heartland Hootenanny on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Oh, and one more announcement. The Art of Lapierre says, Happy early birthday to me. Oh, my God. Don't ask. I was born on Mother's Day, y'all, sometime in the late, late part of the 1970s. One more special announcement before we move on to our next segment. Are you looking for the perfect work from home attire? Are you a fan of Old Crow Madison Show? Are you a size small, medium, large, extra large, or extra, extra, or extra, extra, extra large? Are you bothering to get dressed at all during quarantine? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you're going to love the merchandise items we have at our sale on our website right now. Simply use the code HOOTNANNY for 20% off. T-shirts, posters, and hats, damn yuns, were practically given away. Well, we hope you're enjoying the Hootenanny, and we sure do love making it for you. We have a new feature on the show moving forward. It's a PayPal tip jar, y'all. Friends, you know the old crows got their start busking, and with every one of our tour dates canceled through August, we may be returning to a street corner near you sooner than planned. But tonight, you can show your love by throwing a few toonies, loonies, Australian dollars, or Benjamins preferably into the pickle jar. All proceeds go to helping us keep the lights on at Heartland Studios, home of the world famous Heartland Hootenanny. Well, nee, 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 nee. you know what it's time for? It's time, you know what the sound means. It means it's time to strap on your mufflucks and your Uggs and your um, clogs and your Crocs and your um, flip flops. <laughs> Because we're just about to wear a hole right in the middle of Mama's living room floor. Pull the rugs up, Mimo. It's going down. I'm yelling, Timber, you better move. You better dance. That's right, hey, writers. It's time for the Heartland Hootenanny's social distancing square dance. And as always, let's roll in that graceful partner to dazzle the dance floor in a quarantine cotillion. Here she is, folks. You know her. She's the large and unwieldy stump that I found in an alley. This is a log from a tree felled during the Super Tuesday tornado here in East Nashville. And it seems to have its mojo working for mama tonight. Wait till you see what it does for your dance steps. Oh my God, look, some little 80s leprechaun has left a VCR tape attached to the log. Well, it looks like it's a 20 second short 
It's a 20 second short from famed documentary filmmaker Julia Galonka of Baltimore, Maryland. She's the woman working on that much anticipated forthcoming film about the life of West Virginian bluegrass pioneer Hazel Dickens. Hmm. It just says Corey Flosses. Well, this ought to be good. Thankfully, all the latest technologies are available here at Heartland Studios, especially VHS and Betamax. So let's just insert this old video cassette right into the player. distancing square dance all right we're gonna send the log back to whence she came farewell see you next week well you know that time it means it's time to go straight to our very special next segment the heartland hootenannies bit that i think is wonderful that we like to call brighten your quarantine with the radiant hues of tonight's very special guest star all right now that i got my all right tonight's Celestial orbit is particularly well illuminated by none other than this dazzling star. Here she is, folks, coming to you from Minnesota and Wisconsin and all points in between. Would you welcome to the Heartland Hoot Nanny, Mary Mack? Did we get her? Hey, Catch, can you hear me? Hey, Mary. I'm sure glad to see you. I've been thinking about Nashville without that storm coming through and you know, the COVID and whatnot. Uh, it's it's so good to see you dancing around there. You're a big guy. Thanks a lot, Mary Mac. We're so glad that we've got you here all the way up from Les Toiles du Nord, which is a place that I love to put on live shows up in the Twin Cities. Oh, man, they miss you, Catch. It. I heard all the shows canceled till August. Me too. I don't have any stand-up comedy shows, so... I've been finding other ways to make money, like um, I developed my very own special COVID-19 sauce. It's uh, 18 herbs and spices catch. Most of them are nutmeg. Oh man, it's great, great on ribs. You can put it on chicken, any surface really. Yeah, it cleans, seasons, and cures you. Wow, that's just amazing, Mary. I I can't it's believe how it's much it's nutmeg you got in that. Well, listen, there's never enough nutmeg. I will, I guess I should say it doesn't actually cure you, but it doesn't kill you, oh. which is better than most of the offerings currently. Well, I, I can't believe that uh, your your COVID-19 sauce uh, is a cure for coronavirus, but I'm, I don't want to dispel any mythologies here on the Hootenanny tonight. No, catch, it's right. It's right here if anybody wants to order some. I got my two dogs trained and they wear it around their neck and they bring it right to you. Okay, well, happy Mother's Day. I heard it was Mother's Day tomorrow. And uh, I thought I could talk a little bit about my mom. 
She's a great lady, Catch. She, uh, she has, my mom lives in the forest. She has no internet or cable news, so she has to have her own thoughts. Yeah. Uh, like, my mom's such an independent thinker. She is pro transgendered rights and she enjoys burning plastic. <laughs> yeah, you can't pigeonhole Jan. You can't do it. Meh. She's tough, too. Holy moly. Okay, one time my mom was having a heart attack, and she saved her own life because um, uh, she cured it with aspirin and hot brandy. She cures everything with brandy. I know. I wouldn't call her alcoholic. I'd call her alcoholistic. Uh. It's the home remedy catch. Well, Mary Mac. It's time for our Q&A portion of the show. So let's begin with a little softball Then I'm going to punt right up to the first baseline. What is your favorite quarantine activity? Not being around people. Oh, that makes sense. Which of your five senses would you say is your strongest? Smell. To smell and to be smelled. Because yeah, I haven't really showered a lot during quarantine. If you had a warning label, what would yours say? Keep away from children. Also flammable. People should wear that just on a daily basis. Finally, if you could eat only one meal for the rest of your quarantine, and it couldn't be my white bean chicken jalapeno chili, what would it be? And let, wait, can I just guess, would it be lutefisk? Am I saying that right, lutefisk? You sure are. Um, well, I'll tell you, while I'm a real sucker for jellied fish with lime in it, with lye, I should say, the same stuff in outhouses, uh, I'm going to go with pickled herring catch because, man, I it lasts forever. I ate it all March, all April, and I'm still craving it. That's how good it is. Wow. Well, it, I, I'm sure you have a lot of other dietary restrictions that I hope you're going to tell about us in this next monologue. <laughs> catch... I've been trying to eat organic. I, I, okay, the other day, I ate organic maple bacon fudge. Have you ever had wait, wait, organic maple bacon fudge before? Slow down. Did you say organic maple bacon fudge? Yeah, I can't. It's very hard to get it organic. There's a lot of levels to it, okay? The fudge, that's got to be cage-free. That's difficult, okay? Uh, the pig, the pig has to be like, Okay. Yeah, catch. The pig has to give consent. Otherwise, it's not organic. All right? Also, that pig has a, a safe word, too. Uh, if that pig oinks twice before the conveyor belt, it gets to go to a community college of its choice. Ladies and gentlemen, isn't she a riot? Well, catch. I know this is primarily a music show, so I brought, I brought my clarinet, catch. You, would you mind name that polka? Ah, I'd love, I hear polka's making a 60-year a, a comeback. It's just like the locusts. Catch, it's better than locusts. That's the slogan of polka. Hey, uh, this is going to be real. I, I, I'll just, you know, don't be, don't be shy and don't be ashamed if you get it wrong. It, I, I'll give you a real easy uh, round one, okay? You should be able to get this. Uh, if, if, if you get it wrong, you have to give me a dollar. If you get it right, you get your very own jar of COVID-19 special sauce. Okay, here we go, catch. <clears throat> Now, I can't say for sure, but I feel that perhaps this is the um, Pennsylvania polka? Yep, yep, I, that was correct. Great job, great job. Now, let's, let's, uh, let's up the difficulty a notch, okay? Um, round two, only one person has ever got round two right, but uh, I know you're a walking dictionary uh, of uh, music, but this actually isn't in your wheelhouse, so don't feel bad if you don't get it. 
if you get it wrong, you owe me a dollar. If you get it right, you get $50. I owe you $50. $50? Are you sure you can afford it? You haven't been working. I don't want to take all your money, Mary Mac. Catch. You're not going to get I mean, you maybe you'll get it. But, okay, let's just try it. Okay, here we go. Well, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Get out your picks and shovels. That was the coal miner's polka. Wow, catch. That's great. Uh, wow. Yeah, it was the coal miner, coal miner polka catch. I didn't think yeah. you'd that. Hey, this is fun. What do I win? It was $50, Catch. That's great. I'm really excited for you. Okay. Okay, well, round three. Round three. Um, round three gets very, very hard. Uh, if you get this right, you win my dog. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's an emotional support dog, too. So if, if I lose him, I'm going to be real sad. Okay, here we go. One of the more difficult polkas. Go oh, ahead, try it. I thought you were going to give me the hard stuff. That's Finger Dance Poco, written and recorded by Walter Gansick in 1949. Where's my free dog coming? Wow. Wow, that's great, Catch. Jeez. Um, okay, final <laughs> round, right? Grand prize round. Um... I'll give you my dog. I'm a woman of my word, but um, you're not going to get this one. It's not even in English. If you win this, you win a 2008 Hyundai Accent. I'm still making payments on it. Okay, I can't believe my luck. I'm ready. Come on, play it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, of, of course, I. my Swedish is probably not as good as yours, Mary Mac, but was that just the faint strains I heard of Mialaka Buka Koguta Poka? Yeah, yeah. It, it is! Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, catch. I guess I'll pack up my dog in my car and drive it the 18 hours down to Nashville. I'm a woman of my word, so congratulations, I guess. Yeah, and you can take the Greyhound home. Thanks for coming on the show, Mary Mac! I, I don't think I'll be able to afford to come back on the show for a while, Catch. Thanks for having me, though. You're welcome. Thanks for coming out. Wasn't that wonderful, folks? We'll see you next time, Mary Mac! Thanks for all the fun and frivolity. See you real soon, we hope. Stay safe in quarantine. Keep your hands clean. Don't touch your face. Drink Lysol, drink ammonia, or COVID-19 sauce. And we'll see you down in Nashville with your dog and car and 50... Three dollars, I believe. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, what fun that was. It's time for our record of the week set again. That time in the Hootenanny when we crank up the Victrola just like old great grandma did. And we picked out a great Mother's Day kind of number. Let's see what we've got here on the box. We're going to crank it up, boys, like it was yesteryear. Here she is, folks, on the OK Records, climbing back onto the charts for the first time since Mother's Day, 1943. It's Al Dexter and all his troopers doing Pistol Packing Mama here on the Heartland Hootenanny tonight, letter one. <laughs> Pistol down, Dave. Lay that pistol down. Pistol packing, Mama. Lay your pistol down.
it's time for tonight's final segment, the one that we call All My Tales Are Tall. And tonight, as the white bean chili jalapeno chili bubbles away in the crock pot, we think about Mama and her indelible mark on our lives. 40 minutes to go, y'all. Mmm, it's smelling good. We think about Mother and her indelible mark on our lives and on the livelihoods that we all hold dear, like music, my country music. And we ask ourselves an important question in times like these or like any times, we ask, what would country music be without Mama? Yeah, think about it. Would there even be a reason to sing or to write songs? Would there be much worth singing about at all? This isn't just Mother's Day zeal I'm spouting, y'all, I mean it. What would country be without Mama? Yours, mine, everybody's. Who would there be to fry all that chicken we're always singing about, if not Mama? Dad? Are you kidding? You're gonna let Dad fry the chicken? Who would there be, if not Mama, to hold the family together when brother gets hooked on pills and sister's pregnant and daddy loses his job at the plant and the car dies and the dog dies? Mama, that's who. Keeping it together is what Mama does best. See, Mama knows. Without her clairvoyant wisdom, Johnny Cash would have foolishly taken his guns to town. He probably would have died in a hail of bullets, if not for Mama's advice. And what about Merle? If Mama hadn't had those hungry eyes, and if she hadn't tried, Merle Haggard would have gone straight back to the big house up at Old San Quentin. He'd probably still be on death row. And if it weren't for Mama's, like Mother Maybell, the circle would have been broken and stayed broken for good, not by and by, Lord, by and by. See, in country music, Mama is our moral arbiter, our paving stone on the high road less traveled. She's the one who stays up late waiting for us to come home with her look that's like a verdict and her furrowed brow. And yet it's her forgiveness that sobers us when we've been out hell raising. It's her keen eye that protects while it scorns. It's her farewell kiss we'll still remember. It's her handwriting that marks our lineage on that first page of the family Bible. She's the first one to turn the other cheek. In fact, we learned this from her. Now daddies, well, they've been known to be up to no good, but now mama, mama knows. And mama don't mince words. She's a pistol packing mama. And she's the mama that socks it to the Harper Valley PTA. But she's also the mama that sews every stitch with love in a coat of many colors. And the mama that promises that when you add it all up, the full cost of her love is no charge. What would country music be without mama? Who would rock us all to sleep if not Emmy Lou, Barbara Mandrell, Linda Ronstadt? You really want daddy to sing you off to sleep? All he knows are drinking songs. Oh yeah, and fighting songs. Oh, and also cheating songs. The only lullaby that dude's ever heard is the one his mama sang to him. Listen, kids, daddy's singing could give you nightmares, but not mama's. If papa's trick is to wind them up, then really the magic is all mama's cause she winds them down. And ain't that sometimes a small miracle? Y'all homeschool mama's feeling me right now. Yeah, sometimes just getting them wound down is some kind of quarantine miraculous. And speaking of miracles, country music wouldn't have no gospel tabernacle, no proper house of worship if it weren't for mama. For if there weren't no mama, neither weren't there be no mother church. Is that a double negative? Does a triple negative mean a positive? I don't know, ask mama. Anyway, without her, there'd be no mother church, no rhyming auditorium to beckon the weary soul. Now there'd be plenty of neon lit bar rooms and honky tonks. Oh, daddy will be sure there's plenty of nice saloons that stay open all hours. But it's mama who says country music needs a church and that our songs belong equally in the hallowed halls of a mother church as it does in the gaudy beer joints and dives. God, she's so elemental in her beauty, so simplified in her soulfulness. All she needs to say country is hardwood pews and a few cheap panes of colored glass. 
Daddy says there's got to be a smoke machine and a jumbotron and a bottomless plastic cup and a big old intermission so he can pee and plenty of parking for his big old truck with that big old set of truck nuts swinging off the hitch because Daddy thinks he's real tough, see? But Mama's so tough, she don't need nothing but some hardwood pews and some cheap colored glass. She's a simple gal. After all, wasn't it Mama and not Daddy who sang she was country when country wasn't cool? And furthermore, wasn't it more Mama than Daddy who first sang about that circle being unbroken or about keeping on the sunny side of life? See, Mama knows. She gets the final word on who made honky-tonk angels if it wasn't God. And only Mama decides when music is allowed to be played around here. Now, of course, we hope she will decide affirmatively, and we wish to court her favor that she'll allow our music round here. Because for all these years of singing and strumming, it was always Mama we were trying to impress. Do you think Johnny Cash was singing for those guys on the other side of the Jumbotron with their truck nuts swinging? Of course not. He was singing for Mama. You think Merle was singing his heart out about hungry eyes and turning 21 in prison for all them truck nut cowboys on the other side of the smoke machine? Of course not. He was singing for Mama. He was hoping afterwards that she'd fry him some chicken and tell him how good he done. Oh, Merle, you done real good, he heard his Mama say in them dog pricked ears of his. It was always Mama we were trying to impress. Maybe it was Mama just because Daddy didn't pay that much attention, but I think it was more. I think it's because Mama knows. Mama knows that when we done wrong, and so when we do right, we throw it all in her direction. All our right is for her, oh, but our wrong. See, but Mama knows just as well that we're doing wrong in another direction, just the same as we're doing right in hers. And you know what? She loves us up anyway. Yup, she do. Ain't that some kind of love? To love you both ways. To love you when you're right front and center acting like a big damn star, singing sweet, shining like a diamond. Then she gonna love you when you're wrong and messed up and you're going half crazy and you're just as tarnished as a tin cup when nobody else will love you at all for the fool you become. That's when she loves you. That's when she loves you when there's only God left to love you. God and Mama. See, Merle knows. Ask him about some of those residents of San Quentin. The ones who knew the deepest depths of lonesome. Those caught in their schemes of cheating. Those who became hopeless in their addiction. Became thieves or worse, vile killers. Who remained to love them? Sometimes it's just God and Mama alone. They work together, them two. They must have a whole hell of a lot in common, God and Mama. Country music needs them both, of course. Now country needs Daddy, too. But not tonight. No, tonight it's just Mama. Sure, without her, maybe we'd still have songs about trains and dogs and trucks and prison and getting drunk. But there'd probably be no babies grown up to be cowboys without mama. And folks, there'd almost certainly be no rockin' like a wagon wheel without mama. So I think it's safe to say there'd be no country music without mama. And I'm glad and thankful to her that instead there is. So here's to mamas from me and from all the old crows. And if I may speak on their behalf, from all the wayward sons of country music. Please forgive us, Mama. We're so sorry for the ways that we screwed up. We promise to do better next time. Because we swear we just want to make you proud.
Headed down south to the land of the pine Coming my way to North Carolina Staring up the road Pray to God I see headlights I made it down the coast in 17 hours Picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers Well, I'm hoping for Riley I can see my baby tonight sauce, ammonia, or bleach, and contrary to what the president says, white bean, jalapeno, chicken chili is not a cure for the coronavirus, but it'll make you feel warm all over. Oh, and by the way, so long, it's been good to know ya. 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 Till we find a cure, let us self-quarantine. Ask the folks from the CDC. Oh, mother, dear mother, say, how can it be? There were 25 million jobs lost since last week. Well, she said, keep stirring. Don't let your chin down. There'll be enough chili to pass all around. We'll sing so long. It's been good to know you. Hey, so long. It's been good to everybody. So long. Well, thanks so much for joining us on the Heartland Hootenanny tonight. That's all the time we have for you. But we appreciate each and everyone so much out there. Thanks for your years of love and support to the Old Crow Medicine Show. And know that without your steadfast friendship, we'd probably all be dead or in jail by now. So thanks for keeping us out of the clink and in the pink, folks. We love you. We really do. We also love tonight's guest star in the Heartland Hootenanny, the hilarious Mary Mack. And we hope to get to stare the stage with her in Minnesota or Wisconsin real soon. Who else do we love in the Heartland Hootenanny tonight? We love Leva Mae Penniman, mother to the late great Little Richard. 
We love the mothers of Neil Young and Nicolette Larson, Winona and her mom, Naomi Judd. All the moms on the cast of TV's Young and the Restless, Ray Wiley Hubbard's mom, Glenn Danzig's mom, all the combined mothers of the old Crow Medicine Show and the Yellow Hammers. We love Bob Dylan's mom, Beatrice, Al Dexter's mom, and the mothers of Johnny Cash and Merle Haggard. And finally, we love every single mom who has a son locked up in any prison anywhere in the world. You're the moms we're loving on most tonight. Thank you all for the time we had together on the Heartland Hoot Nanny. We'll see you next week. Until then, stay safe, happy, God bless, take care, wash your hands, don't touch your face, keep your distance, stay positive, optimistic, hopeful, healthy, cheerful, groovy, motivated, untethered, wild, free, liberated. Good night, everybody. Good night and God bless from Nashville. Ah!